so much for being here. Very cool to have you here. Well, Thank I'm, you. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah, you're. So, I have to say, I'm such a fan of yours. You are so different in every role you play. I thought, I don't know who this man's going to be when he shows up. You know? Yeah, sometimes I don't. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. You get lost yourself. Yeah, a little. I, sometimes. I saw the the Dark Knight last yeah. night. I saw a screening. Unbelievably amazing film, uh, and it's obviously going to be a smash. The effects are fantastic, and I something I, I realized as I was watching it. I don't think this is CGI. No, there's not a great deal of CGI in it. Um, Chris Nolan, the director, uh, favors the real thing right. in, in camera stunts. Well, so I, think people, I think it's good because I think people are getting jaded with CGI. You see yeah. it everywhere. And in this film, it looks like, nope, someone did that. Someone, yeah, as stunt, improbable as it is, some stunt guy yeah. did that. And they really they flipped that truck, that 18-wheeler. And he said to his stunt guys, you know, uh, I want you to flip this truck in the street. And they said, well, we're not sure how to do it. And he said, well, I, go work it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he can say that because he's, yeah. the, he's the director. And, 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 he and could have talk it, like that to yeah. people. Yeah, you have 10 minutes. Figure it yeah. out. <laughs> uh, did you get to do any stunt driving or anything? Because there's a lot of, uh, you know, action in, in cars. Did you get to do anything? Yeah, there's a swap sort of chase sequence. That's right. Um, and I'm the, I'm the driver in that. Um, uh, but the last one in the first Batman, Batman Begins, I got to drive the, uh, the, the, the Batmobile, which was pretty cool. Really? Well, it was a sort of module in a studio. Right. Was it? With, <laughs> and, you know, guys wobbling it up and down. I told my... <laughs> but I... <laughs> the, that looked the, odd. The, the bat module. <laughs> yes, wobbling yes, it up yes, and yes, yes. And, um, Just move it to the side <laughs> one way or the like other. this? That's all I'm asking you to do. <laughs> yeah. Just move it to the side. And, uh, uh, anyway, I told my kids that I drive the Batmobile. Sure, so you can tell your kids yeah, anything. They, they, you, know, they were... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You can, actually. Yeah, you can. Yeah. 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 Sure, I drive the Batmobile. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are known for being a very intense act. You take it very seriously. You're very intense. I heard that uh, on the, in the making of the Harry Potter movie, you made Daniel Radcliffe cry. That true? Is. is that true? That is true. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's... You seem all broken up about it, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it was uh, an emotional scene that he, he, he was having a bit of a problem with, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, look, I said to the director, look, I've got an idea, let me, uh, let me kind of physicalise it a bit and get him into the... Uh, into, I won't do it down here, I'll do it up right, here. Right, yeah, thank you, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and so, I, so I sort of shook him up a bit, you know. <laughs> Did you warn him that that was going to happen? Uh, kind of. <laughs> You just he, said, I'm going to try something a little I'm different gonna here. I'm going to try something a little different. Right, yeah. right. And well, how did he react? He, he would, uh, suitably, with, <laughs> with, 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 uh, uh, with tears. With tears. Yes. It worked. And it, it worked, worked. Yeah. yeah. I have, uh, I'm curious, you have done, The Dark Knight is IMAX, Harry Potter IMAX, this, the yeah. IMAX format. And when you see a film in IMAX, it occurred to me that an actor's face is blown yeah, up. Yeah. You know, you're, you're suddenly you're 40 feet high, yeah. 75 feet wide. Those are the yeah. dimensions of my face. And uh, <laughs> what's that like when you're an actor and you're, you're working with that kind of technology? How does it change your acting well, the, style? Uh, yeah. Well, there's a booklet that comes with the IMAX camera. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's, it's like, tells you how to put makeup on for the makeup artists, and yeah. it tells you kind of how to act. It tells you how to act? Yeah, it says don't just sort of, you know, you, you got to kind of pull it back because you, you, you're going to be so big on the screen that they say kind of, you know, kind of underplay it. So you, you can't, you know, you can't do this kind of thing. Right, right. You know, because it's, it's just, you just see an eyebrow. Right. <laughs> like a kind of roller coaster. Keep it very yeah, tiny. You, you have to keep it, you keep it very small. But I thought that was, I thought that was quite funny that they give you a booklet. Yeah, uh, act, act, borderline act. insulting, really. It is really. It. Yeah, we better you know. tell Gary Oldman how to act. <laughs> <laughs> Read this, so you'll know how to act. <laughs> you considered for a while, which I, di I did not realize, music is very dear to you. You yeah. love music. You considered music as a profession for a while. Is that true? Uh, yeah, but well, I, I had a, 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 a bit of a facility for it, but no real talent. I play a bit of piano. I play a bit of bass guitar. Mm -hmm. Um, Who were your, um, like, musical heroes growing up? And... Oh, well, uh, the Beatles, mm -hmm. Bob Dylan, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and James Brown, who I, who I got to work with. 
You got to work with James yeah, Brown? Yeah, we, uh, I did a, a sort of BMW short film mm -hmm. with him. Did you, did you talk to James Brown? I mean, it must be an amazing experience when you've been so influenced by him and then you get to meet him and talk to him. What was that like? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, not to steal, you know, Eddie Murphy's uh, uh, shtick here, but uh, when you first meet him, it, it's, it's, it's like a, maybe a day that you have to acclimate to him because, mm -hmm. you know, I said, it's a great honor to meet you and work with you, and it's... Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's kind of... <laughs> and you spent... So you spent a day or two just nodding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm he's probably, getting, you, man. Yeah. he's probably getting very frustrated because he's yeah. asking me, yeah. like, I yeah. want some water! No, he wants to know where the men's room is. <laughs> uh, we, have, we have a clip here from The Dark Knight. Yeah. Uh, yes, we do. And uh, you are uh, Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. A, 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 in the film. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us about this clip to the set clip. people up for this scene? Uh, um, I believe that it's on the rooftop with Batman and the DA, mm -hmm. who's played by Aaron Eckhart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, uh, I, I think I'm sh yelling at him, saying that there's uh, corrupt people in his department. I think that's the clip. Let's take a look at this clip from The Dark Knight. All that was left in the vaults were mob bills. They knew we were coming. As soon as your office got involved... My office! You're sitting down there with scum like Wurtz and Ramirez, and you're talking... Oh, yeah, Gordon. I almost had your rookie cold on a racketeering beat. Don't try and cloud the fact that clearly Maroney's got people in your office, Dent. We need Lao back. But the Chinese won't extradite a national under any circumstances. If I get him to you, can you get him to talk? I'll get him to sing. We're going after the mob's life savings. Things will get ugly. I knew the risk when I took this job, Lieutenant. How will you get him back, Amy? He does that. <laughs> People are very excited about this movie. If I spoke like Batman, I would have a different career, wouldn't I? Yeah, if I had yeah. that voice? Yeah. I would yeah. love that. Well, that's, tonight that's, we have Gary Oldman on the show. That's, that's, I mean, it's coming up through the... <laughs> I don't want to know where it's coming from, that oh. voice. Uh, <laughs> The, the Dark Knight, uh, open. <laughs> this is a what theme. A, what yeah. a wonderful show we have tonight. Uh, I can't even get close to that. I'm like, I'm way up here. <laughs> Beware, evildoers. Uh, <laughs> might be why I didn't get cast in that might film. Be. Hey, what's going on, Commissioner Gordon? <laughs> well, I'm back to the Batcave. Uh, the Dark Knight, which I think you'll all be seeing, opens on Friday. This was a thrill having you on. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, really great having you on. <laughs>